Kits and Switching Theory Laboratory. Today we are going to perform experiment 2 which is diode resistor logic or gate. Okay. So this experiment is already uploaded as module 1 experiment 2 in our virtual classroom. So you read the objectives, theory, okay. Now let's go directly to our diagram, okay. So this will be our circuit diagram and just like our first experiment, you only have to comply the last part which is a question exercise okay now uh, next thing is we we are going to perform the experiment using our simulation software multi-sim so we run multi-sim so we will wait for the software to finish loading okay We'll wait for multi sim to finish loading. Uh, for the meantime, let us go first to our uh, circuit diagram. So as you can see, we have two uh, uh, switching diodes. I uh, one and four o one, and we have three LEDs. Three LEDs and three resistors. Now, for our experiment, we will remove this part here and we will replace it with a voltmeter. So you can see this is our F. This will be our output A and B are our input uh, combinations. If you look at the table, A and B and output F. Okay. So since multi sim has already uh, loaded. So we'll now try to get our components, start with the diode, so let's start with uh, 1 and 401, we need two of this, and then we go to LED, we choose red, just like our first experiment, we need two of this also, then going back to our uh, diagram we need two uh, 330 ohm resistors again we will remove this part here and replace with a voltmeter okay so we will get two 330 ohm resistor okay so let's go to resistor and let's look for 330 and we need two of this also then we need two single pole double throw switch for our input combination a 5 volt source and the ground okay so let's get first our uh, ground it here let's get our DC power so our DC power by default is 12 volts so we'll just change that later to 5 then again we will get our switches so we need this one single pole double throw switches we need two of these so for the meantime we'll just place our components here and we will just arrange it later so as you can see we have now our components so let's uh, drag this 
kita yang kita rotate this one so align this one with our LEDs okay connect this one okay. so as you can see uh, our two switching diodes are facing towards the right with regards to the anode cathode terminals okay it's facing to the right so this is already facing to the right and can move it here and if you look at our uh, SPDT switch we need to rotate this one so that the common terminal will be in line with our diode okay so this one will also be rotated so we can drag this a little upwards okay we can connect this one now this one also let's change switch to the key to uh, A and let's change this to 5 volts okay so uh, this will be uh, connected expand this here and if you look at uh, this part here this LED is connected to A and this is connected to B which is the lower switching diode so this one can be connected directly up here and this one will be connected here and let's just connect this here and this one and let's connect our ground okay now if you look at our switches the uh, switching position the switching position uh, let's just connect this here to 5 volts so the normally open position and then the normally closed position let us connect it to brown this one now for our output F here we need to connect a voltmeter so this is you double click this one so this is now voltmeter DC okay so let's connect this here and this is to ground and let's connect two more voltmeters for our A and B so this is A this one connected to ground and B this is our B connect it here so as you can see we I think we are now finished with our circuit uh, diagram so again this voltmeter here will monitor voltage at A point A this will voltage at point B and this will be our output F okay so if you go back to our circuit uh, the first input combination is A and B are both zero volts so we can we have connected our B to zero as well as our A to zero so if we run our simulation uh, our uh, inputs 5 picobolt 5 picobolt and our output is almost 5 picobolt so this very near to zero therefore our data here output 
f for our first input combination is also zero okay so as we go to the next input combination zero one where b is our one or b is five volts if we transfer this to five volts turn on this one so this is five volts this is zero and this is also five four point nine therefore our output f here is for the second input combination is also five so you have here zero one output is also one for the first uh, input combination zero zero output is zero second zero one output is one or five volts now for the third input combination so we go back this to zero and this will be one again a is 1, 5 volts, output is 4.9, 5 volts, B is 0. So as you can see here, this will be 1, 0, output is also 1. And for the last input combination, both A and B are 1. So if you look at a voltmeter, 5 volt, 5 volt, these are all 1, output is also 5 volt, 1. So for our output combination, for our last input combination, 1-1, one, one, output is also 1. So our outputs here will be 0, 1, 1, 1. So your objective is to answer the question number 1 based on the output of the circuit as performed in the experiment. How does an OR gate behave? And for the design, you are asked to design a 5-input diode register logic OR gate and construct its truth table. So this is the truth table of our uh, two input diode resistor logic or gate. Okay. So this will be our experiment too.